Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another edition of MJ Every Day. A training based episode for you guys today. A little bit of a different environment. I'm not at MJ HQ. I am here at the gym, about to get a workout started with Boss Josh. And a topic that I've been asked to do an episode of MJ Every Day on for a while now is how to do warm-ups and in particular how to do a shoulder warm-up or, or, or an upper body warm-up which for boss Josh and I usually looks like a shoulder warm-up. So Bosch is right here, he's started already yep. and we're going to go through a standard shoulder warm-up that you and I generally do. Yep. So hit it and I'll just talk through it. So we use a dumbbell, we prefer to use a dumbbell rather than cables rather than pulleys and there's a couple of reasons for that that I'll discuss towards the end of this episode but we do a few things so the first thing is an external rotator cuff warm-up so we want to tuck our elbow in to our torso Bosch you can tuck it in a bit a bit closer than that there you go and we want to take a palms facing together type grip and then just rotate that shoulder out and allow the dumbbell the inertia of the dumbbell to stretch the external rotator cuff out so we'll hit this for 15 to 20 times and the type of weight we use, what weight do you have there? Four. Four? Kilos. So we usually use between four and six kilos. Yeah. Four and six kilos. Then we'll go and we'll go palms up, so palms facing the ceiling and this is just going to allow the dumbbell to get a little bit more inertia and stretch that external rotator out a little bit further. So we'll hit this for 15 to 20 uh, reps as well. And then we go and we hit our internal rotator. Now this one's a little bit more tricky. We're using the same dumbbell, but we're gonna take it up. And we want the upper arm to be parallel to the floor. And we want a, a 90 degree angle between our upper and lower arm. So a 90 degree angle between our forearm and our bicep effectively. Then you wanna keep your elbow in a fixed plane and just rotate down as far as you can rotate and then rotate up as far as you can rotate. And that's gonna put a nice stretch through the internal rotator of our shoulder. So we'll hit this also for 15 to 20 reps. And then the final piece of our shoulder warm up, Bosch, if you wanna demonstrate, is we grab a broomstick, or if we don't have a broomstick, we'll use an exercise band, but a broomstick is best because it's rigid. And we'll do some shoulder pass through. So we hit the 15 to 20 reps of the external, both types of the external and then the internal rotator on both sides of the shoulder. And then we grab something rigid or if we don't have something rigid like a broomstick, we'll grab the exercise bands and we will do shoulder pass throughs. Now shoulder pass throughs, we tend to do 15 to 20 and then we're gonna go and we're gonna grip the broomstick a little bit closer in, right Bosch? And the closer you go with the broomstick, the more stretch it's gonna put through the entire shoulder joint. So you wanna kinda of start as wide as you can on, on the broomstick or on the exercise band, and then bring your hands in closer together as the shoulder warms up, just to, just to put a nice stretch through there. We'll hit this for 15 to 20 times, and then we're ready. And that's it. That's how, we warm, uh, that's how we warm rotator cuffs up, that's how we warm our shoulders up. And we tend to do this before pretty much every upper body workout. So before back, definitely before chest and shoulders because those are very uh, shoulder dominant type movements and before arms as well. So we hit that exact routine of warming shoulders up and, and in particular our rotator cuffs up before every upper body workout. Now, the reason why we use a dumbbell as opposed to a pulley, because I know a lot of you are gonna say, yeah, no, nah, you shouldn't use a dumbbell, puts too much stress on the front delt, and it's not constant tension, and, and you're 100% correct, but we're warming up the shoulder joint. We're not doing an exercise to overload the shoulder joint to, to strengthen it, we're just warming it up. And when you use a dumbbell, you get this thing called inertia of the dumbbell. So once you get a dumbbell moving, it's gonna keep moving until it hits some resistance. So we actually use that to our benefit because that inertia of the dumbbell is actually gonna help stretch the external rotator and the internal rotator out in your shoulder. Look, if you prefer, you can definitely use a pulley. If you feel like it's a more controlled movement, using a pulley to warm up your, your external rotators and your internal rotators, by all means, use a pulley. We just prefer to use a dumbbell because it really emphasizes that warm up and that stretching through the shoulder joint. But guys, that's a wrap. That is how we warm up shoulders. That is how we do our upper body warm ups before every upper body workout and that's a wrap for today's episode of MJ 
every day. As always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn your post notifications on both on your mobile, your cell phone, and your desktop PC so you don't miss a beat when it comes to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel. Until tomorrow, I'm coming to you from massivejoes.com.